Welcome to the Talk of San Diego. I'm Oriana Leo, and right now we're discussing the Living Reef Memorial with its founder, Rob Sarney. Hi, Rob. Hi, how's it going? Well, and you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Of course. Now, today we've been talking about ocean-related themes. We're talking about sea turtles. And now this is on a little more sensitive note. Mm -hmm. We're talking about those that have passed away and a way to memorialize them in the ocean. A living reef memorial. Essentially, what it is, is it's an ecologically beneficial alternative to traditional memorials in that we design artificial reefs that mimic the habitat of very specific species of marine life, typically those that have been impacted by humans. And what happens is, uh, essentially when a loved one passes away, mm -hmm. they'll call us and say, well, we think this is a wonderful idea. We want to uh, increase the biodiversity on our seas. We want to reduce the species extinction rates, and we want to restore overfished stocks. And one way to do that is to employ these artificial reefs that again mimic habitat of very specific species of marine life, typically those that have been impacted by humans. And what happens is, is we once we start putting these reefs in areas where the biodiversity is very low, okay. meaning the, the, it's just a sandy substrate, the second we put in a vertical habitat, pretty soon the biodiversity is increased by well, exponential rates. So if I understand you, you're putting in essentially an artificial reef where there should be some fish and some living ocean life. Mm. And when you put that reef in there, life essentially comes and inhabits that reef. Is exactly. that right? It, it, okay. it blooms. It comes out and absolutely blooms. Okay. You would recognize one of these reefs a year after it was deployed. It has so much life on it. Now, can you explain how this is going to memorialize a loved one that's passed away? If you were to be placed in, let's say, an urn after cremation, yes, and there is no final disposition for the cremated remains, meaning you're on the mantle, you're in a box marked storage, you've been inherited uh, uh, by generations, and finally we're trying to find some ecologically acceptable, religiously, socially acceptable means for the final disposition of cremated remains. Sure. And everyone wants to give back. This is like the eternal life, flame of life, that is ecologically beneficial. Kind of like, like Kennedy. Kennedy had this flame that would burn. And that's the eternal flame. Right. But the ecological footprint does not end when you pass on. Sure. And this is one way where we can continually give back uh, to the ones that we leave behind. And I think that's a more profound uh, statement about the product. In addition to that, it puts a positive spin on a very tragic situation. Absolutely. People are really engaged by the fact that the, their loved one is going to be giving for generations to come. Now, will uh, the family be able to visit the spot where the reef is put into the Absolutely. Uh, there's a number of charter vessels that go out to the reef uh, that, that you can easily get on at any time within San Diego, or simply go out to any beach in the city of San Diego and look out over the sea and you'll see the Los Coronados Islands. Those are the only structures in the sea that you'll see from the city of San Diego, and those are the islands in which we deploy our reefs. Okay. Well, I think this is a beautiful way to honor your loved ones. And how can the people of San Diego get more information about this? Oh, livingreefmemorial.com. That's livingreefmemorial.com. Or you can call us at 1-800-569-REEF or 7333. Well, I'd like to thank Rob Sarney for his time. Oh, I'd like to add one more of thing. Of course. All the proceeds to from the sales of these living reefs go directly to some of our ecological endeavors, okay. like sea turtle rescue. Okay. Uh, if it wasn't for the sale of these reefs, we wouldn't be able to, sea turtle rescue wouldn't have been able to rescue thousands of sea turtles last year. And we're hoping to rescue 40,000 sea turtles this year. And what makes that possible is this reef project. Okay, so it sounds like your ultimate mission is really biodiversity in our ocean. It's a win-win for the environment. Sure. Well, we support you at the Talk of San Diego. Hey, and thanks a lot. You're welcome. And thank you to Rob Sarney for his time. And we'll be back with the Talk of San Diego.